everybody, it's Jeff, and I'm playing another arcade game, as you can see. Look at that, it, it looks like a Coke, that can there. <clears throat> I'm playing Desert Assault. <clears throat> and, uh, it's a running gun, obviously. One of my favorite genres. I love, lo I love running gun. I almost said loving gun. I wonder if that would be like Guns N' Roses. <laughs> loving gun. And, yeah. So, anyways, I didn't know about this game till a few days ago when I saw somebody playing it on YouTube. I had no idea. Can you just shoot this thing? Okay, what am I doing? Oh, I got bombs. Look. <clears throat> I took out everybody. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, we'll try this uh, missile launcher, I guess. And throw a couple of bombs in here for these guys. There we go. Yeah, I didn't show the title screen because I just got it up and running and I didn't want to have to reset everything, so. But it is called Deadly Assault and it is a uh, computer. It's an arcade game on my computer, for crying out loud. Okay, can I take out the helicopter like this? Oh, it says enter. Okay, go in. Get on the helicopter. All right, I did. Oh, look, I'm shooting from the helicopter. Coolness. Stop shooting me. Oh, but my health is preventing the helicopter from dying. <laughs> so let's see. We went to church this morning and we got home. Oh, a couple hours ago, I guess. Watched a little wrestling. And, uh, good service. My pastor did a good service. He always does. I've known my pastor for, like, 33 years, something like that, between two different churches. He's a good man, good preacher. It's good to find a good preacher and have somebody that can, uh, give you the straight gospel without embellishing it with their own bias. Because there's so many people like that in this day and age that, uh, look at this, Ugh! just come home from church and I'm killing people. Oh, soda. But yeah, if you don't have a church you go to, it's good to go. I mean, my attendance ain't the greatest. I will be one of the first to say that, but finding a nice pastor is a good thing. Are you going to let me do something or what? Can I go? Mission accomplished. All right. Praise the Lord, I killed people. <laughs> yeah, so, back to Desert Assault. It's, uh, this is the United... Doesn't that look like, uh, Doogie Howser, but older? What's the name of the actor that plays Doogie Howser? What's his name? Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris. Tell me that doesn't look like Neil Patrick Harris, but older. A lot older. Oh! Okay, let's go up here. I need a weapon that shoots faster. Okay, to get on you, you got to shake them off. Shake them off! Shake them off! Okay. I want to tell everybody that's watching this video about a grand, brand new song that I discovered. It's really good. It's by Corey Feldman, and it, it's called The Comeback King. you got to look it up. Watch the video, and I want you to tell me what you think. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm joking, but I actually like it, i got to be honest. I can't lie to you. Well, I could, but I'm not gonna. He, uh, Corey, Corey Feldman, he likes to emulate Michael Jackson, as I sit here emulating a video game. He likes to emulate Michael Jackson. He does dancing like Michael Jackson, and he... He tries to sound like Michael Jackson and look like him. and Of course, it's, it was a lot easier than when Corey Feldman was a kid because Michael Jackson became white later. Whoop! I didn't say that. Stop saying the truth! Oh. But seriously, I'm sorry, Michael Jackson fans, but the man tries to say that he had vitiligo. 
Well, vitiligo doesn't do it evenly all over your body. Okay? You get splotches of white or splotches of black or whatever. It's not a clear coating that's even. No, no, no. I'm sorry. We all know he dyed his skin. Let's just say it and pr stop pretending. I mean, I liked some of his music growing up. I had Thriller, the album, as a young adult. You know, I liked the Beat It song. I like again, like Thriller. There were a lot of songs that were really good. But he also had a lot of troubles in his life. I think he was a troubled man. And unfortunately, the fella died. Let's see, he was 50 when he died, and I'm going to be 54 in a couple days, so he's like 10 years older than me. Take this, because <clears throat> he would be 64. But he was a musical genius, though, and the man could dance. I mean, he really could dance. That uh, Grammy Award special that he was on in 84 where he introduced the moonwalk. He went home that night and uh, Fred Astaire called him on the phone and congratulated him on how well of a job he did. You know, and for Fred Astaire to do that, you know, he was a well-renowned dancer as opposed to Michael Jackson, you know. You know, getting a compliment from, like, uh, Fred Astaire was a big deal. So, that, I always liked that story. That's pretty cool. Okay, what happened? We found the ambassador's helicopter. What the F? He just swore. Well, uh, okay. Right, do I want to... Okay, what do we got here? What is that, a boat? It's a boat. There must be water down there. Oh, yeah, look at this. Gone. Look. Bye. Yeah, I'm terrible. Yeah, my wife and I had Chinese for lunch today. Mm-mm, good. I, I like Chinese food. But boy, were there a lot of people there. We took it home. I couldn't eat there. It's two, two people eat there for me. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go home. You know, I needed to relax. I'd been sitting in church for about an hour or so. And I'm like, you know what? Let's grab it and go. I, I need to go home and sit down and be fat on the bed. <laughs> Come on, dude. Let's go. Okay, there it goes, right? Um, okay, throw a couple of bombs. A couple of this here. Another one. I like the digitized voices. Mission accomplished. The ambassador must have been taken hostage. There's Neil Patrick Harris again. Uh, does anybody see what I'm seeing? I know my wife sees it, but... Mission 3! Watch out for the... Watch out for Lewiston. That's what it said. <laughs> oh, I like this gun. <coughs> uh. I don't know where I am. I guess it is Lewiston, judging by the residents. Whoop. I'm kidding. Don't get mad. I'm kidding. My lord. Can we just have a joke? Okay, get all these guys out of here. See ya. Where am I? Oh. Okay, okay. Make my way here. Oh, I got a flamethrower now. I'll use the flamethrower for a bit. Look at the picture of the clown on the wall. What? In case you're wondering, the classification of that clown is... Well, there's no skin showing, I don't think, so that would be a grotesque white face. But could be an auguste, but I would... I didn't think I saw any skin, so... Okay, are you coming out? Thank you. You got invincibility. Stop hiding behind a rock. Look for the ambassador. Okay. Can I? Right, let's kill this guy here. Hey, you're dead. Let's go in this room. Uh, they're not going to have him up here that quick. 
All right, let's go. Oh, can I break these boxes? Too late. You just scrolled. You're done. Listen to their, their death screams. Ugh! Okay, can I come down here? Yeah, I got those guys. That kind of reminds me a bit of Metal Slug, but the graphics don't. It's a it's like a mixture of Metal Slug and something else. I'd say Contra, but there's not as much jumping like in Contra. But okay, I be. Oh, I blew the hole in the wall. Okay, th is that him? We found Ambassador Steen. Now we can get out of here. All right. All right, can we get out of here now? Stay here, Ambassador. Okay, we'll take care of this. Okay, so he's going to cower there behind that bed. But yeah, it does look a lot like Contra and Metal Slug. It's like you took those two games and had a baby. Just blow these up. See that music there, that riff? Doo, 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 doo. Very metal slug. So a couple of bombs. A couple of bombs. This is pretty good. I like this. This is a good game. With codes. You know, if you don't have codes, well, most games are no good. That's just how it is. And you have to accept it. <laughs> bomb here yeah so today is February 5th 2023 as of the recording of this video and in well three days I turn 54 now a lot of people aren't gonna watch anymore they're gonna be like 54 bye and I suppose I can't blame you look I'm on fire you know what if you're gonna be that way here have that See, I don't have to play your game. Do it my way. Yeah, 54. Sometimes I wonder, how long will I be here? Because my dad was 55 when he died. Of course, he had complications, health complications, but I do. I mean, quite frankly, I almost died in September. So, you never know. That's what it is, kids. Get yourself right with God as soon as possible. Because you never know when you're going to go. Alright, he's gone. Yeah, take that just for a good measure. Mission accomplished. The ambassador is hysterical. Well, he tells jokes, huh? Bring in the med. What a code. Medical, whatever. Boy, they don't give you much time to read anything. Look, there's Neil again. Hi, Doogie. I'm not reading it because I know it's just going to leave quick. I'm not going to bother. Okay, look, he's in the water. Yeah, that screaming really screams to me Metal Slug. But the graphics seem more like uh, Contra. It's like they took two of my favorite games and just mixed them in a blender. I love them screaming. Ah! That's what you get for coming to Lewiston. You get fried. Look, I can burn the trees. Only you can prevent for Only you can start forest fires. Look at that. Burn this tree. There we go. Yeah, it was a good service at church today. Yeah, really good. Oh, I gotta get in the car. Oh, I see. Alright, well. Oh, you know what? If you're gonna just blow up the car, then why give it to me? I can do this. I can throw bombs too. 
I'm not getting in that car. Forget it. I don't want it. You can keep it. Oh, I didn't mean to get in the car. Can I get out of the car? Good. I'm out of the car. I don't want the car. You can keep it. You're just not going to stop till you push me in the car, aren't you? You're just going to keep doing it, right? Okay, what happened now? Okay. Am I going in there? Yes, I guess I am. I guess I'm in the sewer. Oh. We're running to the turtles here. Okay, that thing is... Die. Take that. So what do you people watching think of this game? Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? I think it's cool. I think it's very cool. At least you get some rapid fire on here. Which is good. Ugh. Oh boy. Yeah, my wife's tired. She's laying down behind me on the bed. She's uh not feeling that good. The weather change, you know, going from really cold to warmer to cold, it plays havoc with her joints. So she takes, uh, you know, medicine to feel better, you know, joint pain, stiff muscle relaxants and whatever have you. I don't really have that, but don't I have enough? <laughs> Yeah, look, I took all those out with one bomb. Look, bye. All right. Okay, fine. You're going to dodge? There, have that. Yeah, you want this? You can have it. And I guess I'm not going that way. I guess I got to go this way. That's kind of weird. Oh, I got this big tank thing. Can get in it? Oh, it's like a hovercraft. Okay. Okay, you get heat seeking missiles, but they come out like one an hour. It's like, let's have more. Okay, all right, all right. I don't care. Just here, throw your bombs. Throw your bombs. Come over here. The bombs aren't even affecting these guys. Look. The thing that stinks about these bombs, they push you backwards. Not that you can fall off the building anyway, see, look. I can't. I'm trying to kill myself, and I can't. <laughs> yeah, take that. Alright, let's see. Can I walk through here? Shoot those. What is that? I don't know. I keep hearing that guitar riff, sorry. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. There it goes. See ya. Very fun game. I like it. What is that? A spaceship or something? <clears throat> what the? Okay, you're going to be that way. Okay, you're going to be that way. Alright. Alright, at least I know. Alright, we're going to use a lot of bombs here, people. Because it's being unfair. There you go. How do you like that, huh? You like it when somebody overpowers you? There. There you go. That's what you get. Because these games are all unfair. That's why you got to equalize the playing field. You, you, you use codes. Because they make these games so hard. And an arcade game, again, is made 
primarily to separate you from your quarters. You know, young kid, you know, he goes to the laundromat with his mom and they might have an arcade machine. Mom, can I have a couple quarters? And there it is. Here, take the quarters, Junior, and get lost so I don't have to talk to you while I'm flirting with the guy over there. We've been breached. The enemy's security system and are proceeding to the... Great. We're in Lawston, the end. <laughs> it's always Lawston. Why? Why does everything come down to Lewiston? <laughs> okay, come on. It was funny. I've had some people watching my old channel years ago, and they always, they, they'll refer to Lewiston, you know, like they've been there. It's funny because I made Lewiston in my... Can we go or what? I've made Lewiston into its own character, you know, where it's part of the thing. I don't understand what is happening. I'm trying to go forward. Wow, this is, like, dull. Okay, I know. You're evil. Let's go. Holy frijoles. Wow. Typical woman talking for an hour. Whoop, I didn't say that. Nobody heard me, right? Yeah, look at this. There we go. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take I'll take the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher to the face. Okay, you're gonna be difficult, huh? Well, how do you like that? I even the score. You're dead. Look at these guys. Look, they jump you. And they throw you around. So you do this. And they're gone. Okay, I got a... What's that? Turkey? Oh, I don't want to go in there. That looks like a level from uh, Contra, definitely. The first Contra on NES. Poison gas, I don't care. Oh, I see. you got to keep running because that poison gas will get you. Well, my wife knows all about poison gas. She gets to sleep next to me and I fart. <laughs> Are you going to... Poison gas don't even hurt him. It doesn't matter. How many doors? Weapon change. There we go. See, we just keep going. The gas don't mean nothing. It's probably just like something that will drain your life really quick. See, like that. Just throw off a couple of bombs. You're all set. I wonder how close to the end I am. I've been playing 23 minutes here. I can't imagine it's got far to go. This might be the last level. Oh boy. Look at these guys. Okay, we're going to talk for a year. You made it this far. Where well, you're going to meet your death. Yada, yada, yada. Right. Destroy the computer. Oh, just let me work on it. I'll break it. I'm terrible with computers. Oh, excuse me. Total accident. Didn't mean for that to happen. It's not like I've ever done that on purpose or anything. I don't know if this is one of the computers. We'll just take them all out. Just to make sure. Missile launch canceled. Well, oh, yeah, I blew up the computers. Good. All right, let's get them. Okay, let's get them. See, stuff like this reminds me of the Technodrome in the Turtle game. See all that stuff? Huh? He's jumping out. Oh, that he's massive. He's fighting on the edge of the wing of a plane. Very good. And the wind don't even blow him off. That's because he's a real man. Because that's what I do. I step on a plane and fly on the outside of it. That's what men do. But can I not throw the bomb? There. 
gonna say how long years okay it's scrolling okay I guess I'm coming over here turkey or ham leg yeah so I would suggest you download yourself a copy of this for Maine it's pretty good Desert Assault it's a great game to play after church you know you learn about loving people and all that and you shoot somebody in the face with a tank missile <laughs> it's a joke don't judge me you don't know me <laughs> oh lord oh is that oh heat seeking now we're talking now we're talking heat seeking missile oh I lost it get that back here I don't want the other one. Stop giving me weapons I don't want. You should check the codes. I'm sure there's something to always have a weapon you want. They always do that in these arcade ones. Select your weapon, that kind of thing. Okay. What am I what am I doing? Okay, we're gonna do this. You've ruined all my plans, and for that, you get to live in Lewiston. The end. Yeah. Has anybody been keeping up on wrestling? I started watching wrestling again after a couple of months. You know, I just was too curious. I, I needed to know what was happening. I guess the bloodline's having problems at WWE. Everybody liked in Sami Zayn now, for once. Whoop. Sorry, Sammy. But now they're making him kind of like a good guy, and I guess Roman Reigns is more of a bad guy than ever. But, who knows? Okay, this has got to be towards the end here, right? Just throw a couple of bombs here. I used to really get into wrestling in the 90s. I mean, the early 90s. 91, 92. Um, that must be it. That's got to be the end of the game. Right? 28 minutes into this. Let's see. Yeah, so I really got into wrestling in the 90s. I got to go to an event. I I got my head licked by the Bushwhackers, if anybody remembers them. Uh, I went to a... Th a th I got to shake hands with Million Dollar Man, uh, Ted DiBiase. It's funny, he does uh, gospel stuff now. He preach. Look at this! It's Jaws! Holy smokes! Oh, that's the end of it. So I got to meet Ted DiBiase. I had met the Macho Man. It was great. I, I loved it. I loved going there. And it was back then when I didn't mind people as much as I do today. Because people just drive me crazy. All these weird things going around the world today. Oh. Like the wonderful question I heard. What is a woman? Oh, I can answer that. They have meetings with... Uh, politicians and spending money on finding out what a woman is I can tell you give me the money I'll take the money I know what a woman is there's not a lot of these blue-haired weirdos out there that's for sure oh sorry Did that hurt somebody's feelings oh well cancel me then whatever that means I should have just thrown it on the floor on purpose. Oh well. Yeah, so this game's pretty good. I uh, I like it. I just noticed it the other day online, watching YouTube. Somebody was playing it. It's like that's why I like to watch YouTube as much as I do. I get to learn things I wouldn't know on my own. But it's called AdTube. If you're gonna watch YouTube, watch it on your computer. Ooh, can I uh, put my name? Or is it going to rapid fire me? Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's not. Can I do it? 
I think it's gonna let me. There it is. I got my initials in there, JMH. See, I'm the top player. I'm the top cheater. Yeah, winners don't use drugs, kids. Remember that. If you do drugs, you're a loser. All right. Well, that's it. Hope you liked the game. Bye for now. See ya.